Welcome, people, to Edcasting. I am Ed. What's up, everyone? And I am your favorite base builder, Rock. Okay, and Edcasting is the thing that we actually decided to... Let's go back. It's the whole idea of us enjoying Clash. We're as OG as it gets. I've been clashing soon 12 years, and I think you're about to hit the same marks this year also. Am I mistaken or right? No, you are correct, yes. So I started basically a month or two after the game got launched so we are closing in on 12 years now yes oh my <clears> god <throat> you're more og than i am because i started in december i i think i started in september the game, yeah, I the think game was launched in august or, in august or something like that or yeah, end of yeah, this yeah, month so, it's June. yeah um i think it was september maybe early october it's 12 years ago so i don't yeah. really like recall it um, I do remember it was after the first update where they um, kind of changed to that when you had your army camps destroyed, you actually lost all the troops that were in the army camps. So I think I came just after that, but before Dark Elixir, so you only had gold and Elixir. Yeah, that was a long time. Dark Elixir was, it was not new. It came after a while. But I, I like how yeah. the like how the game has developed, and now today, like okay, we've been doing comp competing and doing everything. So now we are basically, I think, we're kind of like casual clashers, or well, let's say casual OG clashers that still enjoy the game. I still do play daily, but I don't have any any competitive urges or anything like that anymore. Just I, I just want to enjoy my friends and the attacks. Uh, yeah, yeah, that I think you just hit the nail on the head right there. Um... I do still play, of course, daily. I do still build daily. Um, I do kind of check out competitive wars because I'm still, you know, interested in, in like the highest level of clash. But at the same time, yeah, those urges to to compete and you know, world championships and all that stuff, I think, are a little behind me at this point. You know, that's not to say that it might come back at one point. But right now, I'm just enjoying clash for for what it is. You know, just something to to pass the time with and to enjoy and and you know, just kind of have fun. Yeah, and I think this is what where this. I think it was like two weeks ago when I had the idea that we always been like talking we should do something like this because this is actually what is missing <clears throat> from Clash is something sort of a podcasting thing and it's it's quite something of today and uh, there's a lot of uh, like the, I'm like have been a office official Supercell creator for for three uh, four years soon and the first YouTube channel was like actually quite literally like ten years ago so. It's been a while, uh, while doing stuff, and I started the YouTube channel because people wanted to see how I attack. So I filled my screen with my phone and uploaded those videos, and it started from that, and then blew up, and and it, it's it's been uh, a ride, and still kind of something that you don't want to quit. Clash, and also because there's like people on our Patreon. Some people have been there since 2016. That that's a long, long, long time, and they're they're. Uh, getting content weekly that's why we call the weekly basis so I kind of owe it to you guys if you're watching hello thank you <laughs> that we still do thank and create content because uh, and also it's like I think it's ready for something like this where we just chat and show the enthusiasm and, and like between us I think uh, or maybe here I don't know yet where it'll be you'll always see some <laughs> attacks or some defenses running <laughs> So it, it's going to be kind of cool. And, and guys, give us ideas of topics you want us to talk about. We're going to be doing these things weekly. And if you want, of course, Patreon, you get there, the episode of, of uh, the next week, one day ahead. So you get to already know and chat with your friends about all that is happening. So something like this. And we want to do this weekly. And also, if you follow us on Instagram or everywhere else, you'll see a lot of content, a lot of clips from, from these recordings. Because, well, why not? It, it's, a, it's a fun way to do yeah, um, I just love the idea of it all because it, it's just a new platform for maybe clashers like us because like at the moment it feels like everything is just so hyper-focused on competitive clash that that's basically the only thing that's been happening, right? Um, you have, you know, some smaller YouTubers maybe that do, um, you know, these challenges, stuff like that, but for the most part it's all, all purely competitive, um, which, you know, I think takes away a lot from the game because there are... 99% of us is, is just are just playing Clash, we aren't doing competitive stuff, we aren't, you know, doing pro wars and stuff like that. And I think there was just a little bit of an outlet missing for, you know, the casual Clasher that, you know, he can check out um, um, ideas, bases, you know, just talk about, nerd out about Clash because, you know, someone like me, I've, I don't have any, like, actual 
in real life friends that that play clash so is this there's always missing I mean, somewhere that i can just clash, chat about weird. we we can't be with them they like come yeah on. we're Some we're all weirdos game, but... so so you know yeah <laughs> exactly yeah. No, they so, are we're normal um, you know it, it it feels nice where we can maybe get a group of of like-minded people in in on the same platform we can discuss clash and and have fun and and you know just everything that's going on at the moment and it's not just like super super competitive you know top end stuff and winning the world championship and no, but stuff actually like that. also so, um, we because yeah. we both live the life there so it's like we are not talking we we went over from there like when i it's soon going to be 10 years when i was number one in, in the world and it was two years i spent 16 hours a day in in clash and it's like you have no life and and and, and but then still <coughs> exactly, it's something yeah. yeah but still i like the clash in a sense if you compare to those times now you have eight attacks per day and every every month you kind of you know quit the rankings and start from beginning so more people have a chance to be number one because at those times it was like you needed two months to get to top 200 yeah. and then from there it was I, I like that kind of competition i don't like this now it's boring it's it's too much for chance and also i know if i would like honestly today go everything that i had i would be some not the best and and that that's kind of sad because why do something if you run up to be like world's number 375 it's it's a it's a sad <laughs> sad life especially if you calculated um, even that that you are 370 something <laughs> Exactly. Well, because now it yeah. says on the on the leaderboards, if you check, you're yeah. like I'm number ten thousand four hundred and seventy eight in the world. How nice! And is you that? know what is the you know what's the biggest problem with with the the clan wars and the competition of of like you have uh, that five versus five while the world champions. You know what's the biggest problem with that? With mm, the whole concept. Not. Sure. Um, you have. Well, I mean, I guess you the, have some. You have you have yeah. teammates. That's the biggest problem. You can't play alone you need to and always exactly, something will be yeah. the weakest one so that's the, that's the that's why i don't like that you always have some diva there that will just you know do a doo-doo <laughs> in his pants when it's crucial and then it's over there so it's like that's why it's it's the worst and, and shout out to diva hope you're watching <laughs> yeah um well yeah it's i guess if you kind of want to do a solo competitive run you know the only way is legends league but like you said legends league is a little different now you're limited to eight attacks and, and eight defenses. And, um, yeah, um, I guess it's hard because, like, the whole entire game is kind of based on the concept of, of you know, social multiplayer games. So you you have clans, right? It's, it's Clash of Clans. So I guess the whole idea of the game was behind clans. So, like, multiple people, you know, groups of people working together. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing that... that these um, competitive wars or five, five versus five, I think we should. So it's a cool concept. Right, yeah. maybe. Yeah, that's just not for us. Exactly, me. yeah. So, exactly, yeah. So, I think you're more of a solo competitive guy. Um, I do think it, it's cool, but at the same time, five versus five is a little limiting, right? You can always do, like, you can have 50 people in a clan, so. Maybe perhaps if, if you know, Supercell could go into the way of, of making these wars bigger. You know, something closer that to Ooh, what that's you actually cool do in the game. Remember the, remember the ITD times when we were like with 50 versus 50? That was the, that was the exactly, time. Exactly, yeah. How many bases did you, know, you the, build the, a day? The final... How many bases did oh, you build a day? I'm then, not sure then. if I want to go there. Back then, so I think that was what, 2, 2015, 2016, around that era. That was like the... The 14, golden, 15, day of, 16. golden days of ITD. I think yeah, 15 yeah, was, yeah. Uh, was the, the absolute most hardcore. But if there was like big, yeah, um... uh, it was there was like big back to back wars. It was insane because for me to build well, a base you, yeah. from the image, it took like forty five minutes yeah. just from the there image. Was no, no, there, was, there was no links. No, no, and no links and no base editor yet in, at that yeah. point. So I think the base editor kind of came later. Um, that's when you can actually that's that's where like the whole base building started where people would like actually look for new bases and set them up yeah. and use them because before that you basically you know well and when I was building the first bases I ever made which were basically farm bases because that was before CWL that was I think before even clan wars it was literally just a farm game um, and you had to put everything so you put all your walls into a corner and then buildings into a different corner and then you had kind of like a half a map empty and then you started building from that half and then moved stuff around that was like just torture really um so once once the base editor got added that was like a life-changing at least for me because i like i really enjoyed building even 
early days of Clash when I was at Town Hall 7, 8, 9. I would just, you know, rearrange my buildings and change bases, you know, all, almost every other day. So, so when that time, hit, like the base editor, I was... But you know when it was the times, like, you know, when we were it. pushing, you kind of needed to, when you, everybody could see your village and they could see your base and copy it or then figure out how to attack on that because it was shown there. Yeah. So every, every time you were clouding, you need to break the base. So move everything ahead so people wouldn't see where stuff is. Of course, they didn't see the traps, exactly, but they could yeah. kind of get a sense what you're rolling. And then when you take the defense... Uh, it was like when the ba now with the base editor, everything is so simple. It, it it's so great, actually. But it, yeah, it brings, exactly. uh, so it brings the the memories. I think if you compare, like you know, the game as it was even ten years ago, not from the start, and now the the quality of life has improved like dramatically. You know what I mean? From from yeah. base editor to like you can actually, if you're pushing now, you can have a base set and then a base for defense, so you don't have to keep changing that. Because remember, when you were pushing in, in, in High Legends, especially you, um, back then, if, if you forgot to, to change your, you know, your, or your troll base or whatever base you were using you and, and change it to your defense base and you got attacked or you lost connection, you would get insta-attacked and, you know, minus... Killed. Minus... What was 39. when you were well back then? It was like... Yeah, 60 was the uh, 60 that. was the uh, thing, but usually they couldn't three star, so you end up two star three something star, with yeah. minus 39. And when I win, it doesn't matter <clears> if it was one, two, or three stars. It was always what I got was basically just, just, just six. one trophy. Yeah, one so, six four trophy. So that that yeah. was a weird time. So yeah, I do I do appreciate that how how far we've come with with that aspect of clash. Um, at the same time, it might have lost a little bit of an edge, right? Because back then, just like you said earlier, if you wanted to be yeah. even top 50 in the world, right? You, you had to put a lot of time in from, from, you know, just clouding all day to making sure that when you did take your defense, you had the best chance possible to, to secure a, like at least a two star, if not a one star. Um, and now uh, everything is just so much easier. You set a base, you can copy a base with a link. You don't even have to build a base ever in your life in Clash at the moment, right? You can just click on links and and then and, and it copies and you use that. You activate it and that's it. You like five seconds yeah. and you have a fresh. And at the new same base time, there, so. you you can do that for pushing. You can do that for war, and it's gonna be minutes, like a minute, less than a minute, and you're done exactly. and set up, and you can enjoy. And also like eight attacks mm -hmm. per day. Like I still like the, how the game is that when you hit like around five and a half thousand, the game becomes a bit more uh, competitive there. So you can easily stroll yeah. between. You can buy the shields, and it's like uh, I kind of like how casual it is. It's like playing chess for me. It's like you don't want to compete. You just want to enjoy the game. And we like to enjoy the same things. We like to eat the same food. We like to eat the the and play the see the same football teams play. We like repetition in sense. Only kids like new things exactly, because yeah. they don't master anything. <laughs> yeah, um, I agree. I agree because um, the thing is that while it doesn't take as much time now to to try and be competitive, if you want to be competitive with just the the sheer amount of, of people playing Clash of Clans and and still in 2024, um, you're gonna have to do a little bit more if you want to be competitive. Let's say top 500, top 300, top 200 in the world. Um, even attacking wise, you know, it is uh, an extremely offensive meta right now. So most people can get a three star if, if they put a little bit of time in. But at the Wait, same time, you know, people at the good. higher level are. I just thought I was good. Oh, yeah, no, you're amazing. Yeah. It, it's mostly <laughs> just you, yeah. Um, yeah, so hey, if you want let's, to compete let's, at the like. Next topic, the next topic of ed casting will be about attack strategies today uh, and then tomorrow. So, mm -hmm. guys see and come to see the next episode uh, if you're on a patron above 10 tier at casting turn above you get that day ahead and if you're otherwise you'll see that next week and we want to thank you for the first episode I, it's been weird uh, especially to have my ugly fat face on the camera you're of course <laughs> gorgeous we all know that so uh, so let's wave well, and, thank and you, see Amina. you guys <laughs> next week and uh, cheers guys let me Okay. Oh, just a second, Nelly Toysta. Uh...